Brian Smith is the trio to watch out for for Cole. They're going to really be relying on Brian Minicus in the midfield to get things going. And the first draw of the season for Colgate falls their way, at least initially at first before it's picked up by Michael Autry. And a whistle, and it'll go to Colgate. Looked like a loose ball push there on the faceoff. Colgate did win the ball back to them, and then loose ball push on, on the Colonial, so it goes back to Colgate. This is a good omen for the Raiders to be able to, if they can keep winning these faceoffs, to get the ball to their offense and have more opportunities. And it also keeps... And for the Colonials, 25 Owen down. He's a tremendous defenseman with great feet uh, covering Minicus here. Minicus on his left, draws back out for a moment. Darts down low. Beneath the cage, good shot and a snipe there for Chris Francesco. The senior midfielder gives Colgate their first goal of the season. They lead it 1-0. Drew the double team and just threw it back for the open shot and a great low corner shot there. Very difficult for a goalie to see or pick that up, uh, and hard to make that save when, when you're able to shoot here from eight yards. So great start for the Raiders to be able to get, put one on the board early. That's got to be just a huge confidence booster coming off of a season where, you know, you do go winless. That's a hard thing to swallow. A very, you know, you don't want things to end like it did with a pandemic coming in. And Robert Morris going into the invert set, pulling a midfielder behind the cage. Get it into the middle and an early save there for Sean Collins. And you saw the great hands of Ryan Smith being able to handle that one and get it back out at the goal. He just couldn't put it low. He shot it into Collins where he could make the save. Smith already with seven goals on the season. That was 17-11-28 in last season's truncated campaign. Led the team in assists points with second in goals. This was an area that Colgate struggled with last year, clearing the ball uh, and a turnover there on the clear. And Robert Morris able to make good on the turnover. Cadigan. Captain pitches it in the save. Nicely done by Savic straight into the mesh. Five seconds left on the man up. And Robert Morris will be able to kill that off. Solid pen penalty kill by the Colonials there. Giving up two shots, but really outside shots. Not great opportunities for a uh, man out possession. So they have to be happy uh, after that. Low shot, and it sneaks five hole on Collins. Looked like it was ripped off by Will Johansson for his first of the season. And just a little bit of trouble. Playing a lot of guys is really beneficial for your team um, all, all over the place. That's one thing so many teams are having to deal with across the country with the lack of non-conference games that teams are able to schedule this year. You're not really able to find out what kind of depth you have in your bench because you don't have those extra opportunities against games that you hate to say it against, you know, a little bit of lesser competition where you can try some things out. Right, and, and you didn't have the scrimmages this year either. Normally they would have one or two scrimmages. And right in front, Colgate able to tie us up at two. It's Mike Hawkins right in front of the crease. Check me five for now, still Minicus. Feed it in down low, a shot got blocked away, picked up, feed it down low, Pistorius fired it wide. It'll stay with Colgate. And the man up opportunity over, but as it expires, Colgate able to make good on it and take the lead 3-2. Hawkins drew the defender down there and threw it inside. Pitches it back up top. Yeah, the ride has really been stifling um, the Raiders here, Colgate. I think Colgate on the clear needs to redirect the ball to the other side um, to either from, they keep trying to clear it away from the box, which is typically uh, how they'll clear. But if they redirect it one or two times, it can shift that ride and, and create openings uh, for you to pass the ball up the field. Driving down low, Hawkins stops on a dime, turns back, darts the other direction in front and a one-time finish for Colgate. They go up by two. And Hawkins back behind again at X, right where he's very comfortable making that change of direction. And the Robert Morris defenders are looking behind the cage at him, looking, trying to... Drops it off. Now to the near side, it's Johansson. Johansson already a goal here today. Darting onto his right, trying to bull rush inside. Instead, set shot that saved Torin Neal with the snipe. And the save there for Collins. Ground ball. 
picked up by Popovich, looking to shoot, drops it down low, and Neal scores this time. Going top shelf, it's for work around a little bit. We'll get it all the way back to Hawkins. A shot fired just wide, so it was Spazita trying to get a look at net. Nice cross pass and fired home by Spazda. Missed on the first shot. This time he snipes the bottom right corner. And Colgate's up by two again. And Robert Morse extended out there and then had to slide as Colgate ran past the defender and able to skip the ball over. Uh, and just feeds it back to Minicus. Now Minicus has a short stick here, so expect him to attack quickly to the cage or attack hard at the cage. Finds an open teammate. I think the shot got blocked in front for Terrace. Otherwise, it was a good save by Savic. Out of play. Colgate still in possession. No, it was a good save there for Savic. Took a short hop on him as well. Save with the leg. Up top and sniped home for Mike Hawkins. From outside, able to sling it in. And Colgate doubling up Robert Morris once more at 6-3. Momentum. They really did. Snatched back momentum and cashed in on two offensive opportunities uh, that Robert Morris hasn't been able to do. And that's really the difference. And again, these two seniors here on attack are really pulling this Colgate team and putting them on their back a little bit. And that really creates a lot of momentum and confidence for the other players who maybe have not played as much. Good ball movement for Robert Morris, able to work it in down low, and it's Jake Boudreau from in tight to finish it off, but will it stand? It will. So again, that call right at GLE, goal line extended. Uh, the Robert Morris attacker falling into the crease after the ball went in, so they're trying to determine whether that... He had jumped into the crease, but to no avail. Into the middle, Hawkins. Already a very strong game for him. One goal and three assists. Skip pass to Minicus. Has to retreat right in front. Turning and shooting for the goal is Brendan Jordan. Colgate leads 7-4. And Colgate draws the double there and Robert Morris of the field so, and they haven't been able to get as many stops so it really comes down to the ride where they can generate their transition. Popovich takes the shot way off target took a deflection straight up ground ball closest to it was Robert Morris and will stay with them. 18 seconds left on the shot clock here for Bobby Moe this is the longest we've seen them draw down the shot clock but a snipe there nicely done for Taggart Clark, his first of the season and much needed for Robert Morris, back to a two goal game. And that was a huge goal to get that with limited time on the shot clock, a nice step down. You saw him find that best opportunity as opposed to when you're playing loose and free, you take maybe a shot that you wouldn't when you're uh, playing a little tighter. So it's a two goal game with 5.13 left here in the second quarter. Colgate hoping to bring a lead into halftime. Do wonders for morale and Shape up for an interesting second half. Right now, leading by two. Ryan Smith coming on. Bowls his way in and goes top shelf to get Robert Morris back to within one. And we had talked about how they had had a difficult time drawing that slide. We saw them in this possession here run Ryan Smith out of the, out of the box as a midfielder. Three minutes to go in the second. It's a one-goal game. Robert Morris... Trying to strike before halftime once more. Corson Keeley picks up a screen, feeds it to Smith. Smith trucks his way in and finishes it off once more. Back-to-back -back goals for Ryan Smith, and he's tied this one up at seven. And again, he does not mind that contact. Dodging him right at goal line extended, having the defenseman draped over his back and he can find enough space to pull. This final two and a half minutes has to feel extremely important. They've played a very, very good thus far 28 minutes. To go into halftime trailing, if Robert Morris is able to score here, it would have to be a pretty fatal blow to morale. It would. It'd be tough, and you still do have that whole second. 
but after how they've played and defensively how they've stood up and then offensively how they've come out really on fire here in this first half, it would be um, you know a tough, tough pill to swallow here going into halftime. Straight ahead at Smith, trying to bully his way in. He shoots and he scores. Three straight goals from Ryan Smith taking over here in the later stages of the first half. And he's given Robert Morris the lead, 8-7. And, and Colgate right now does not have an answer uh, defensively for Ryan Smith bowling down. And off we go. Hawkins picks up a screen working quickly here. Get it into the middle. Balls gets loose, scooped up by Robert Morris, and they got 20 seconds here on the counter. Straight ahead. Given up and fired home for Robert Morris. It's Alex Cash. Check that Dan Tadeo was the one to fire at home. And Robert Morris with a defensive stand out in transition takes their largest lead of the game by 2-9-7. And what they love to keep the possession alive for Robert Morris. 9-7, Robert Morris leads we had at the halftime break. Just a couple of minutes on here to the second half. Perkins behind the net. Fires it far side. They'll go all the way back up top. Robert Morris content to spread it out. Here's Popovich. Popovich wheels his way around, gets in tight, and fires to the top left corner to score. 10-7, Robert Morris. He drove that low angle and was just able to beat his defender underneath but then bring the stick back to his right hand in front of his body where he gained a little bit of angle uh, onto the cage. It's always a tough decision in the low angle in between the Hold up a hat trick in the final minutes of the first half though. Robert Morris working it around to the far side. Nice pass down low and fired just by the goal mouth. This is where we've seen Robert Morris so far today have a little bit more trouble than you'd expect in their offensive sets. They've been very comfortable in transition, but they're able to finally get a good look, but it almost feels like they're pulling teeth a bit. In the six on six, it, they have struggled today to get those open guys. Uh, besides the, the segment we saw with Ryan Smith kind of take over um, and dodge to the cage several times in a row. They like to deliberately pass the ball and try to find an open guy. They'll see on the backside they're setting a lot of screens uh, to try to pop a guy open um, close to the cage for a good shot. That time we saw a ball side, they set a screen, and then he rolled off it and able to throw it back to that open player. Off the restart, Perkins in tight, nice spin move to swim into the middle, and he scores. Jimmy Perkins... The seventh year player for Robert Morris makes it a 12-7 game. And we'll go to a media time. You're going to have people that, that get stopped and shut down, so you have to be ready to play. So it's just next man up, and, and it's your opportunity. Good job on the check by Colgate to break it free and finally just drops right in front of Sean Collins, who's able to pick it up. Colgate. In transition, able to fire at home. It's late in these games here. These faceoffs come ever more important. This one won by Michael Autry, who's done a good job on the act so far today for Robert Morris. Millennials thought about moving quickly. Now set up in their six on six. It's Popovich. Wandering around, it's Solhoff. Drops it to Popovich. Popovich darts around his defender and bounces it home. The answer needed for Robert Morris as Colgate trying to snatch momentum back, taking all 80 seconds. Two and a half left in the third quarter. Robert Morris leading by five, their largest lead of the game. 
And this is tough to play defense for this long. Colgate's had an extended possession here. So keep being patient, though, and try to get a great opportunity. And there is the perfect opportunity for Colgate to draw one back. It's a 13-9 game. After a very extended possession, the Raiders able to finish it off. And a nice dodge here against a short stick in the wing area. For opportunity here in the shortcoming. Just an offsides on the ride there. Mimicus. And we get a second flag as well. Not sure what the second flag is for, but the first flag, Minicus on the ride here. You should try to stop five yards before the 50-yard line, the football 50. So that way, if your momentum carries you, it doesn't go over the midline. But he uh, just went over the midline and was offsides there on the ride. Second flag, I'm not exactly sure what, what they'll call there. Back to finish up the point, just about if Colgate wants to try to force more turnovers, is darting inside and firing it home. Going top shelf was Corson Keeley. With 12.56 to go here in the fourth quarter, it's Robert Morris 15 and Colgate 9. And it looks like one of the fouls will be back, even though that's not in their nature. Right, and I always think that if it's not in your nature, you really can't. It's hard to then with X amount of time. I mean, until it gets... Uh, dire at the end of the game with maybe four minutes left or three minutes left. It's tough to kind of uh, not play with what's in your DNA. Good ball movement here for Robert Morris, working quickly. Up top, into the middle, Smith fires, he scores. Such pretty ball movement by the Colonials there. We're just popping it around the top and then a top-down feed into the crease, which is incredibly difficult to turn um, and score on, except when... You are Ryan Smith, and you have hands that are so soft and a stick that some really big saves in there um, and, and played really exceptionally. Uh, you know, despite giving up 15, it's not a uh, look on him. And, and that was an example there, the Colonials playing with their DNA and what they're built to do. I think a lot of, a lot of teams would have settled it down, tried to take a minute off the clock, but they wanted to go right ahead and try to score. And a shot from a tough angle, able to put it home with Salvaggio. And fourth, ebb and flow. And if you can be the team that's on the final run at the end of the game, you might find yourself in front. Face off picked up by Robert Morris. Trying to get to work quickly. Good ball movement. Perkins to Smith, the bounce shot saved by Collins. But given away, right in front, Smith, this time he doesn't miss. With eight minutes left, um, as, as, as you previously said, every goal needs to be answered. So anytime you can get a big save like that, helps your offense that much more. Spazita picks up a screen. Can't beat off his man, though. Good job by James Leary. Salvaggio. In tight. And fired home by Hawkins. Thought for a is almost a little bit unaware of the time. I think it took him a little longer to clear the ball. And it seemed um, shorter on the, on, the, on the shot clock there. So I agree with you. They might have been uh, unaware that it was winding down. Cadigan trying to get to work quickly. Fires it across and going low and finding the back of the net is Brendan Jordan for the second time today. A big Colgate goal. It's a four-goal game now. Robert Morris, 16, Colgate, 12. Huge, and you see them. It's a little bit of a slow break opportunity. Robert Morris has gotten their guys in the hole, but they didn't all match. Here, 505 to go. It's Robert Morris, 16, and Colgate, 12. And Andrew Colgate trying to get back into this one. This feels, obviously, with five minutes left, their best opportunity to get back here because we've seen them treading water at that, you know, trailing by six, trailing by five. Now suddenly back to four. Robert Morris unable to put the game away around that 10 minute mark. They were. They were not able to capitalize on some of the opportunities they have. So great opportunity for Colgate. And straight in the transition, Robert Morris makes us eat our words. Jimmy from the penalty. Colgate did get the look. Now with 40 seconds remaining on the possession clock. Under four to go now. Minicus tried to dart onto his left. 
Got body right in tight. Great move by Hawkins. Fakes up top, goes around, and it's a four goal game again. Back to four here, and he just slipped his defender. Defender was looking to help to the crease, um, and he just popped out open to the right hand side of the net. A nice job by Cadigan there finding him. It's Colgate needs goals, and they need them fast. And you still saw Robert Morris 10-man riding, so that, again, is part of what they do all the time, regardless of score. Into the middle, right in tight, and once again, it's Hawkins on the doorstep for a crucial goal for Colgate. It's a three-goal game with a minute 39 left, and you have to feel this upcoming faceoff That'll probably just about decide it. It will. It will. Whether Robert Morris can get it, get into their end and, get, and take another timeout and control the possession, or whether Colgate can get the seconds, this game looks to be in the bag for the Colonials. I've been very impressed with their attack, how they've been able to ride and come up with a lot of ground balls. Those are opportunities that aren't always there in their second chance opportunities. Long pass there from Collins, batted around. Robert Morris has it. They'll hang on to it. And as the horn sounds, we go final. Robert Morris, by a score of 17 to 14, comes into Hamilton.